Number one, thank you to Kia uh, and everybody else in the NBA um, for sponsoring this and, and supporting this. Also, um, congratulations to all the players who are nominated. But I'm here on behalf of one player, uh, Montrez, and, and I'm just so proud of him as a coach. Uh, he epitomizes um, what a six-man year award winner is. And, and trust me, uh, we're getting used to him here with Lou Williams and Jamal Crawford in the past. Uh, to have Trez join the group is really amazing. Uh, I feel like more than a coach uh, watching Trez do this. I feel like a proud father. Uh, so to keep it short, just congratulations, Trez. You deserve it. Thank you very much, Doc. Thank you, my guy. All right, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And now we would like to welcome the 2019-20 winner of the Kia NBA Six Man of the Year, Montrez Harrell. How you doing? How you doing? We're doing great, Trez. Uh, we'd like just to open up to uh, any opening comments you may have, and then we'll start taking some questions. Um, you know, first of all, I just thank Kia, uh, you know, for being able to put this together, um, you know, sponsor their partner. Um, you know, with this award and everything that's going on. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you um, to the NBA, uh, to the voters, um, you know, everybody out there who voted for me uh, to be in this position that I'm in now. Um, you know, I just want to say thank you. Um, it's a tremendous honor. Like I said, uh, you know, this is for my grandmother, um, you know, who is not here with me today. Um, and, you know, is going to be able to see this, um, Excuse me. She isn't going to be able to um, see me, uh, you know, do something that she instilled in me as a, a young child, you know, a game that she, you know, brought to my attention as a young man. And, you know, I fell in love with and, you know, worked my tail off and, you know, thankful to a lot of people that I, you know, been around my manager, uh, Terrence Taylor, uh, my mom, my dad, my aunts my two younger brothers, um, you know, my family is a tremendous support system for me. Um, you know, it's a list of coaches that I can thank that helped me get here to this day and, you know, help better my game. Um, you know, my trainer, uh, Rico Hines, who does a tremendous job and, you know, putting me in situations that I want to be in, in the end game situation and, you know, keep pushing me to be a better player and keep expanding my game, you know, so, it's, it's a long list of thank yous I can go along with for a lot of people. Um, you know, my kids uh, are the most, you know, tremendous blessing in the world um, that I can have added into my life. Um, you know, I'm thankful for them, uh, their mom and everything that she does. Um, you know, keeping them, you know, without a worry in the world. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just a, a grateful person. And, you know, I'm just happy to be here and be blessed to, you know, not only be a finalist, but, you know, now be a proud winner of a six-man award. Thanks so much, Trez. And if you don't mind, we're going to uh, take some questions from the media. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> All right, we're going to get started with Andrew Greif from the LA Times. Go ahead, Andrew. Trez, obviously you're wearing Lou's on your shirt today, and you talked about that connection with him throughout the year. Um, I'm just curious, you know, when you were so young I'm, uh, and you're kind of coming off the bench, I'm sure there were times when you wanted, you know, more usage, a, a higher profile role. What did Lou or did he talk to you about kind of like how to, how to star in this certain role? Um, honestly, I wore this shirt just because of, you know, this reason. And, uh, you know, I'm following behind a guy who's won this award three times and, you know, is the uh, ideal person that you can model behind, you know, playing the game and doing the, doing it the right way, you know. Um, he's been in a lot of different aspects to, you know, where he could have been on, been on teams and actually started. Um, but, you know, he hasn't complained once, you know. He just excels and just, you know, keeps driving it and, you know, being the best player in his nature and his role, you know. And he, like I said, you know, these are words out of his own mouth. He realized that, 
you know, this is not a role that he asked to be in. This is a role that he was put in. So by him being put in this role, he just said, why not be the best that do it at it? And, you know, he's a he's a proven legend of it, man. He's won this award numerous of times. And, you know, I'm, I'm just, like I said, grateful to be able to be around him and just learn and, um, you know, see the type of player he's become and just learn, um, you know, how he was able to, you know, blossom in this role. You know, because me, I'm a player that loves to play and loves to be out there. So, you know, coming off the bench or, you know, being able to sit back and just understand, like, you know, in this instance of the game, you know, it's not right for me to be in in this time, you know. So just learning all of that, just being around him and soaking all that knowledge up has been a tremendous honor. Thanks, Andrew. Our next question, Trez, will come from Ohm from ESPN. Go ahead, Ohm. Trez, congratulations. I was wondering um, if you and your grandmother ever discussed winning an award like this, what, what does it mean to you to win this award after everything you've been through? And was this ever a goal of yours going into this season? I mean, this is a big season for you being in a contract year. Um, thank you, uh, you know, first of all. Um, secondly, uh, it's definitely um, something that we talked about uh, because I was blessed to be in this conversation last year. Um, and, you know, we seen how that unfolds and, I, I was, like I said, tremendous, tremendously grateful just being in the conversation again, you know. So we definitely talked about it, and she told me that, you know, this year was going to be my year, and um, it, it's it's tough. Uh, you know, it's tough. I, I went back to my room and, you know, contemplated, uh, you know, have my talks one-on-one uh, with her um, because, you know, it's, we, we've had these talks and she told me that I was going to, you know, win it this year. You know, this year was going to be my year. And it, it just hurts that, um, you know, yes, it, it's a tremendous blessing that I was able to get this and, you know, be here. But uh, it just hurts that I, I'm not able to take it home um, to her. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't I don't really, you know, focus my mindset on anything like that coming into a season, man. I'm, I'm just looking to, you know, show coach and, and my coaching staff and everything uh, about our organizations that I'm locked in on what it takes for us to do to win a game, you know. And if they and if that's for me to score points, uh, me to take charges, me to block shots, I mean, whatever it is for my team needs me to do for that night for us to win, that's all I was, you know, focused on coming in doing, um, coming back into the season. It, it really wasn't about – you know, I, I'm going to win a six-man award or I'm going to be here or I'm going to do this because I don't I don't plan for tomorrow because I don't know if that's, you know, something that's expected. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, I live in everything that's happening in the moment and right then and there. You know, whatever happens tomorrow happens. Uh, you know, I, I can't control that. All I can control is what I'm doing right then and there. So. Thank you, Will. Uh, next question is coming from Rebecca Harlow from TNT. Go ahead, Rebecca. Congratulations. Pretty amazing honor. But, you know, you're talking about your teammate, Lou Williams. But from your perspective, it's also really cool that you were in Houston in 2016-17 when Eric Gordon also won this award. So you've been around multiple guys who have put in the work to get to where you are now. I mean, I know you're saying that you stay very much in the moment, but at the same time, just from a work ethic perspective, you know, was there a moment in time where you thought, okay, this could be me? And what did you take from the work ethic from those guys that it requires to be this guy? Um, honestly, just understanding how it is of being a pro, really. Um, as far as the work, at the part, I really don't think I really need a push there, man. I, like I said, I'm my grandmother has put this game in to me uh, as a young child, man. As a playing on the little toddler goes, doing all the things that you know, being around basketball, I just fell in love with. Um, so my work ethic, you know, is something that you know stands and kind of speaks behind me as a player because that's that's you know one of the things I pride myself on and. One of the big things that comes to, you know, talks when a guy mentioned me um, in my game. So, you know, I think that was just already there, just, you know, coming from the years of me, you know, living in North Carolina, um, seeing my family go through the things they had to struggle and, you know, just wanted to put myself in a better situation to be able to help them and take care of them. Um, as far as being around guys like Eric, um, Eric Gordon and uh, Lou Will, man, like I said, it's just a tremendous honor 
um, to be able to be around guys who have been, like I said, put in these roles, who understand on how to blossom and, you know, excel in these roles to the best that they know how. And that, that was just by going out and playing the game the right way and doing the things that their team needs them to do. Um, like like I said, you can look at both of those guys, um, you know, not even just them two, going back to, you know, Jamal as well, you know, who is, a, who is a older guy in the game that I have a great relationship with, man. These guys are guys that could easily, at any point in their chance in their career, has been on numerous teams and started big minutes for them. But, you know, their coaches didn't need them to do that in that aspect. They need them to come off the bench and, you know, excel and, and just be them, you know, and uh, that's what, you know, coaches allowed them to do and they excelled in it. So, you know, just being able to be around them and just learn how to do that and carry myself as a pro at doing it, I think that's what's the most uh, important thing and, uh, you know, a huge thing I learned from those guys. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, Montrez, next question is coming from Yovan from The Athletic. Go ahead, Yovan. Hey, Trez, uh, congrats first off. And, and I wanted to ask you what part of your game you feel like developed the most from last season to this season? Like you mentioned last year, you were one of the runner ups for six man, but to win it this season, what do you think was the biggest area of growth in your game? Um, overall, I would probably have to say just my game in general. Uh, like I said, I, the goal is to a higher praise to my trainer and uh, Rico Hines, man. We we were at it every day in the summer at six o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, you can ask him these stories. I, I beat him to the gym multiple times. And, uh, you know, it's just, he, he has a resume that speaks for itself as far as players. Um, a guy that he had before me, well, no, not before me, uh, with me at the same time is a guy in uh, Siakam. As you can see, his career has blossomed and he's done, um, tremendous things for the Raptors, man. But Rico understands the game and understands, you know, guy's system because he's been around this game for a while. You know, he's been around this game even back in the days when Steven Jackson, and Baron Davis and those guys was around. So he knows what it what it takes and he knows what these teams are running and he knows how their your team is going to use you in their system. So, you know, to be around somebody as special as that and, you know, have him put me through these situations and know what it takes, uh, to be here, you know, it's amazing. You know, he's a, a tremendous guy. And, um, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to, you know, know him further than the game of basketball. I, I think that's one of the most special things that I could take from my relationship because, um, you know, even without the game of basketball, he'll still be in my corner. And, and that's uh, something that's uh, huge for me um, when it comes to, you know, being around people and, and, and family, you know, because that's what it is with us. Um, like, I, like I said, basketball wasn't there, we'll still be family. Thanks, Yovan. Our next question, Trez, comes from Miriam from SoCal. Let's go ahead, Miriam. Hey, Trez, congrats, man. Well-deserved. Um, hey, so can, can I ask you to sort of describe the experience learning that you won this today at practice and have Will, Lou Will come out and deliver the trophy to you? Uh, thank you. Thank you. It was amazing, man, for your teammate, uh, guy that you look at as a mentor, um, uh, a vet in this game who you would love to, you know, have your career go as long as his, man. Um, like I said, a guy who is the, the, the carbon copy that can be presented as, you know, th this could be his award, man. He's won three of them, man. Um, for him to come out and just uh, hand me the trophy, um, it, it was special. Um, it was a Huge surprise. I didn't know what they was doing because when Doc first had started talking, he was talking about a tech. And, uh, you know, when you get tech, it, it's a fine. So when he was talking about uh, he needed help from Lou, I didn't know what was coming next. So um, to see, uh, you know, that trophy come out from the back and, uh, you know, it's actually coming towards me, it, it was a tremendous honor. And just a complete, complete tremendous uh, thank you uh, to my teammates, to Doc and, you know, Lou, everybody, man. Um, you know, like like I told my teammates in practice, man, this award is is because of them, man. These guys trusted me to be the player that I am. Um, and they let me be it, you know, no matter through the ups, through the downs, man, they always been uh, always have been there and had my back. And, you know, you can't you you can't do nothing but cherish things like that. Thank you, Miriam. Uh Trez, we have a couple more questions. Just no 
I also wanted to let you know we've got about uh, 75 staff members on this call as well uh, cheering, that we're cheering for you all year and are cheering uh, you today on the award um, from LA. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, next question is from Tomer. Go ahead, Tomer. Hey, Travis. First of all, congratulations on the award. Very well deserved. Um, I wanted to ask you about the impact Doc Rivers had on, on you um, coming over in the trade. Um, obviously, you didn't have a big role in Houston, but the belief he put in you. Uh, he talked about, a lot about, you know, when you came back from this five months off, he was really happy to see you play and play well. Just what, how, what impact has Doc had on you uh, in terms of winning this award and your, your development? Uh, once again, thank you. Um, and uh, Coach has had a, a tremendous, um, you know, upside to my career in general. Um, you know, coming over in the trade um, was one of those things where, you know, I was hearing one thing from a team, you know, saying I wasn't going to be in the trade and then, when it actually hits, um, you see that you're in it. And from the day one, um, coach told me that, you know, this is not one of those things that, you know, we kind of just did to uh, pack this thing. Like, nah, like, like we want you here. Like, we see you play. Um, we know the type of, you know, intensity and the more that you bring to the game. Like, this isn't one of those things that you're going to be, you know, coming here and leaving back out. Like, like we want you here. And just to hear those words from a coach and, who in my as uh, um, in my aspect hasn't played hardly any games like that. Um, <clears throat> my rookie year, I rarely played games like that, and then uh, my second season, I was only playing it back to back. So, for the here head coach um, of an organization says that you know you don't have anything to worry about, that you know you can get comfortable here, and um, you know this is a team that wants you. Um, it means a lot, and you know from there, it it's been that. And, you know, I can't describe it any other way because uh, Coach gave me my first opportunity, man, with this team. And, you know, uh, when I got my opportunity, I, you know, took it and then looked back. That's all I wanted, you know, since I came into this league. It was just an opportunity to be able to prove that I could be out there and help my team do anything and everything it can to, you know, be in a position to win. And Coach Rivers did that. And I'm, I'm tremendous. I'm, I'm extremely, extremely honored um, to be able to, you know, play under him, a guy who's been in the league, a guy who's, you know, won it on the coaching level um, championship and knows what it takes, man. So just to, you know, be around somebody like that um, in the game and then he still, you know, gives you such a high praise and uh, a lot of freedom to be able to grow as a player in his system, man, is, is the most amazing thing you ask for, really. Go ahead. Hey, Montrez, congratulations, big guy. Thank you. Um, I'd like to ask you about your uh, – could you expound on your personal growth that you've been through this this season? Uh, new clothing lines, new shoe deal. I know you got bigger things on the horizon, but just talk about right up to now what this trophy means to you and kind of the growth you personally went through this season. Um, it's just uh, another – uh, another stepping stone to, you know, being a, a better person, a, a better man, a better father. Um, you know, I, I look at as many different aspects, you know, outside of basketball to better myself um, as a person. And, you know, I'm always one of those people that I, I like to learn and I like to be able to do multiple things. Like I try to, you know, learn as much as the outside world, outside of basketball that I can, you know, and, you know, this game isn't going to be around for me always, man. No matter how hard it hurts uh, for me to say that, I'm not going to be able to dribble this ball for the rest of my life. Um, but I still want to be able to have, you know, a brand, have longevity, have, you know, wealth for my kids, for their kids, for the kids after that. That's, that's what it's about for me, you know. Being able to play the game of basketball is a tremendous honor, and I'm blessed to do it. And like I tell people all the time, I'm blessed to call it my job. But at the same time, I'm using my job to be able to brand me off the court to, you know, have a life once this game is over with, you know, because at the end of the day, like I said, no matter, you know, how many of us don't want to believe it or don't want those days to come around, man, this, this, the ball is going to, we're going to have to put it down at some time. So um, everything I'm doing off the court is not just for me, but it's for, for my kids, for their kids, for my family, you know, for our legacy, you know, that's what it's about um, with me. Thanks, Cameron. Uh, Farbod, go ahead. 
Hey, Trez, congratulations on everything you deserve it. Um, you know, Lou has been a vocal supporter of you all year, saying if, he, if he's not going to win it, he wants you to win it. He wants you guys to share it. And he's always said you guys have had a brotherhood deeper than basketball. Can you just talk about that brotherhood with you and Lou? Uh, it, it's, it's exactly what he said, man. It's, it's a brotherhood because um, it goes back to, like I said, about my training. I think if the game of basketball wasn't um, here for one of us, I think our paths still will cross because, uh, you know, just our upbringing and, and the work we know that it takes to, you know, be looked at as that underdog, you know, be looked at as those persons that's, that's overlooked in, you know, a many different situations, man. So um, it, it's, it, it's amazing, man. Um, I was able to be able to link with Lou probably like my second year in the league down in Atlanta um, playing in the AEBL. And, you know, that was probably one of the best relationships that I ever could have um, had with a player or, or a person in general, because it, this man has, you know, so many, you know, accomplishments, not only in the basketball world, but off the court that people don't know about, you know, and it's not my place to, you know, put his business out there, but I'm just, you know, tremendously uh, honored just to be able to be around him and just watch him do those things. And then just to be able to learn from him, uh, you know, it's just extra icing on the cake, man.